Malcolm X is directed by Spike Lee. He's directed Do the Right Thing, 25th Hour, and he's also directed Crooklyn, Black Klansman, numerous other movies. Malcolm X represents what has to be the peak of Lee's career. And that's not saying he's done movies that are below it after. He just really reached a certain height with this film. And being shot in the 90s and carrying a message and also its filmic style definitely holds it above all of Lee's other works. There's a lot that goes into this movie that makes it so impactful and we can discuss that. One of the most lively parts of it is Lee's direction. Denzel Washington's great. Denzel Washington really embodies the character of Malcolm X and he portrays this true life figure when the movie is also intercut with real life clips of Malcolm X of newspaper clippings of newsreels and it all comes together in such a bold fashion it doesn't feel as stale as some true life stories can be this really just comes to life and it's very animated it's very it's very loud and expressive and there's a lot of music that dominates many scenes it's a movie that just keeps evolving and it never really slows down there are definitely scenes uh, throughout this where they have to get information across so there'll be one scene that kind of takes its time when uh, one person will be explaining where Malcolm X is going. Um, obviously he does a lot of traveling, he goes to Mecca, and that that scene, which is near the end of the film, really expands on the epic scope of the film because there is a lot covered in this film, a lot of broad um, areas we go to. We go to from Malcolm X's childhood to him and his family and him trying to protect them. So there's really just a whole chronicle of a life there. And the movie really captures that arc pretty wonderfully. And overall, it's just Spike Lee's fantastic direction that keeps everything together. He's a director who really knows how to keep an audience hooked. Um, everything from the sweeping camera angles, and I say sweeping, there's some shots that start above a lot of a lot of people outside of a crowded restaurant and then it will just uh, pan down and go to eye level and everyone will be walking into the restaurant and it's very neat and it's fun to look at and the movie is composed of many shots like that so overall this is an epic and it really encompasses that um, that range into this film uh, I really enjoyed Malcolm X it's for a three hour 20 minute movie I was feeling the runtime at points but it is very well paced, it's well acted, and obviously the direction from Spike Lee is superior to almost any other Lee film, and I'm a huge 25th Hour fan, so watch Malcolm X, it's really good.